think a lot of what she actually taught me, what May really taught me, has really helped develop to where I am today. Because yeah, because more mainly that was the biggest thing for me was the confidence and um, also knowing exactly what you wanted to do in your life and your career. Um, that's why I asked you guys how old you were because I literally started when I was you know eleven and yes. uh, went on you know pushing, pushing, pushing until I was like. 15, 16, went to high school, finished high school, stopped doing it for about maybe three, four yes, years, yes. and then got back into the business in a very interesting way. Uh, and modeling. And modeling, modeling, I know, exactly. Yeah, and I taught him how to photo, photo Yeah, photos. exactly, yeah, she did. We did a, little, a few things uh, in modeling, and that was a great opportunity. And then when I was in Texas, I was like, well, okay, well, I'm not growing any much. <laughs> and, and as we know, modeling, it does require a particular height. Uh, but I was very blessed to be able to pursue that side of the career in Texas. And then how did you get into TV hosting? And tell us about that. He does the Latin Billboard Awards, and, and he also does the um, Latin Music Awards. And he is a, an ambassador for Target and Macy's for uh, MNBC. Yeah, MSNBC, yeah. Uh, so MSNBC. Pretty, yeah. So pretty much what I do is, um, with, through the modeling, I got the opportunity to uh, go to a TV show, a Spanish TV show, to talk about, you know, supposedly about myself, but then the producers were like, wait a minute, you have a great look, you know, you have a great personality, which is pretty important um, in our career, and they said, well, why don't you come more frequent and be a regular in our TV show and uh, produce fashion segments, and this is where I say a lot of the stuff that I learned from May came into play there, because it was a moment, a, a decision moment. You, ha you really have to think about what, what do you want to do in your career? Do you want to take this opportunity that they're giving you now and run with it, or do you want to just say, you know what, I've never done fashion segments before. It's not something that I'm really I interested just said, in. I just said, just do it. I said, yeah. just, when the door opens, yeah, go exactly. for it, you'll figure it out. And that was one thing that she always said, you know, when the door opens, run with it and do the best thing that you can do with it, and I did. So I was like, well, I've already done fashion, I've done modeling, so I know a little bit about the industry. So let's get in there. And you're an actor. Let's attack it. Exactly. Yes. So Texas, it grew national out of Miami. And now Spanish, in, in Spanish, Spanish. Yeah, speaking in Spanish, Spanish. all in exactly. Spanish. Todo awesome? en español, puro español. Yeah, who too speaks Spanish here? Ah, like see, there we go, a few okay, Spanish speaking people. Good. And then I uh, started doing stuff out of Miami, and through that, uh, opened up a styling company. Um, and so now we do a lot of celebrity red carpet placements as well uh, for award shows, and that's where the award shows come into play. Yes, yes, um, yes, I've yes. been very fortunate to host. Uh, red carpets for the Latin Billboard Awards three consecutive years in a row. Yes. Uh, we just showcase, well, we just aired the first ever Latin American Music Awards here from the Dolby Theater of Hollywood. Oh, nice. We were very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And so, and then we have other award shows that are more based kind of like the Teen's Choice Awards, but in Spanish and so on, and then we do those out of Miami.